plus 1.7 cash book and 3 cash receipt. In this task, we will do the first transaction of our cash book entry. Either you go to GL cash book entry or you may choose to go to my favorite cash receipt. Under this my favorite shortcut, you may click on cash receipt icon or cash receipt listing. If you click on cash receipt icon, it will straightforward go to the customer information detail and you can straightforward record your transaction. If you click on the cash receipt listing, the system will bring you to the cash book transaction layout. Go to GL, cash book entry, then click on create a new cash transaction. It will appear with the option of create a new receipt voucher or a new payment voucher. Choose the first one which is receipt voucher. Let's record the first transaction. The first transaction will receive from the owner. Description is initial capital. For the voucher number, you are required not to edit or delete anything under voucher number, invoice number, document number or whatever number that written with new. Even though voucher number column only written with new, the exact number will appear in your header for your reference. Only in chapter 3, you will learn how to generate your own numbering format. Then, edit the date to 5th January. Enter the payment method to CIMB KL. Then, click the plus sign to add the column. As you can see, we have two types of amount column which is payment amount and amount column. For the payment amount column is a total total amount. And for the amount column is a sub amount column. You are advised to enter all the amount under amount column and the system will automatically calculate all the total amount and put the total amount under payment amount column later. Choose the account number which is capital. Then edit the description to bank in capital. The amount is 100,000. Take after save action, proceed with new receipt voucher. Then click save and review. The system will appear the message for you which require you to enter the check number. If you don't have check number, you may click on proceed by click no. You may select any of the report that you are required. Then click on OK. This is the sample of your official receipt for your reference. Done. We create the second transaction of the cash receipt. The second transaction we receive from cash customer. Description is sales. Again, in know for the voucher number, enter the date which is 6 January. The payment method is by cash. Click the plus sign to add the column. The account number is cash sale. Edit the description to item 1203 and enter the amount to 10,000. Then click on save. The third transaction of cash receipt, we will use copy voucher. To copy voucher, you have to enter the name of receipt from first, which is from cash customer. Then click the copy voucher. There's a two option of copy voucher. One is copy from other cash book and another one is copy to a new cash book. Copy to a new cash book if you are under the transaction and the next transaction you want to continue is the same transaction then you can use the second one in our case you want to use copy from other cash book you may type the keyword to search for the cash customer or you may click on search the system will highlight all the transaction that you have entered if you didn't type any keyword 
Select the Cash Customer transaction, then click on OK. Then you will find all the transactions that you have recorded from the previous Cash Customer transaction in this new transaction. Before you save, you have to edit the date to 7 January. Edit the description to item 1208 and item 1990 and edit the amount to 200. Then save. The last one under this task is cancel the receipt voucher OR-00003. In AutoCount, we have the option for you to delete. But to avoid the number is missing, we are encouraged the user to use the Cancel Document button. To cancel document, you must highlight first the document, then click on View. You will see the Cancel Document button at the bottom. Once you already confirm, click the Cancel Document button, then you will find that the transaction is already be labeled as Cancel Document and in your layout also be labeled as Cancel. You may enter the reason why you cancel under the notes. Done Task 1.7